Well, in those days, I didn't feel like we needed permission. I needed the patient's consent. That was essential, of course. And I think if I had sought permission from, uh, say, the federal agency or uh, the hospital or something, uh, anybody else, uh, I think I probably would have been denied and we'd have lost a golden opportunity. I was in Washington when I read in the morning papers there about the use of this artificial heart that Dr. Kowee had put in the patient. I was shocked. I didn't know that, that he had done all of this surreptitiously, you see. I didn't know he had taken it from the laboratory. Now, Dr. Cooley had no experience with the artificial heart program at all. Didn't do any laboratory work. He was a good surgeon, but that's all. Dr. DeBakey seemed to show a little interest in ever using it, and Dr. Liotta thought he was just uh, wasting his uh, years uh, in a laboratory working with animals and so on, that uh, this would never be tested uh, clinically. And I thought, and I agreed with Dr. Liotta, the time had come to really give it a, a, a test, and the only real test would be to apply it to a dying patient. 